Hi, so today's lesson is diffusing water in your system. Unfortunately, the human body is gets cold in the winter, and so it wears clothes. And unfortunately, people like tight elastic bands and tighten their waist belt so it doesn't fall down because we don't want to wear onesies. Um, and that causes the water to be retained in the stomach if it's tight. So a big part of, of diffusing, you drink a lot of water and then let it go into your bladder and flush it pretty quick and, and flush all sorts of stuff through your system. Um, now you know, so be more comfortable naked, which is, you know, the social moray of the day, I guess. All right, see ya. But I'm going to record it anyway. We went grocery shopping. It was fan-fucking-tastic. This will change your life. I agree. That was easy. Get groceries on the floor, man. Yeah, it's probably not the cleanest floor, so I'm gonna put some groceries away. You can tell a lot about fruits and vegetables by the way their stems go into them. Cucumber, for instance. The stem just kind of goes into the cucumber and then you can eat pretty much everything right around where the stem enters the cucumber. Some fruits, the stem goes like way into the fruit, gets entangled all throughout the fruit, like an orange and stuff like that. Um, so, it's, water kind of passes through the fruit in that same way, I think. Tomatoes, those are really good. Similar to cucumber. Um, cool, I'm making this. It's really full with a lot of stuff. Some vinegar in there, a little bit of sauce, let it melt down, I was going to say, heat down, and cook in, cover it up for a while, let it simmer, so make a good stew. Got all these seasonings and stuff. Um, I like this dill weed, i put some dill weed in there. Cool. Well, I'm going to get to cooking. Well, pick it up from here, huh? My laptop is already set up, so how convenient. Anyway, I'm about to put this cucumber in. Um, one thing also about the root structure, if you examine how the roots go into the vegetable or fruit, you'll have a better idea of how a knife will pass through the fruit. So, you gotta be careful. Like some fruits, you can kinda start going in at an angle and then cut straight down pretty easily. Some fruits, you can cut all sorts of things in. Fruits like the, uh, the cucumber, if you start cutting in one direction, it cuts really fast, and you might, it's hard to turn the cut. You can't, of course, turn the cut, but it's it, just because it passes, like water, steel also passes through it easier. Um, tomatoes and stuff, you got to be careful when you're slicing certain vegetables that your hands are in the right position before you put force on the knife. Basically. So, let's put this into the pot and see what happens. I should have showed you all the ingredients, I guess, while I was recording. Just packed it, man. Packed it. In. So I'm gonna put this. Well, I'm gonna put some vinegar in there first. Uh, drizzle down red wine vinegar, which is I think what the the tomatoes need in the, in the um, cucumber, all sorts. Of, you know. Even the, the meat at the bottom. I've got turkey. So I can recall the stuff in here. Turkey. I was like, and I also have turkey in there. You'd be like, Ian, is that a joke? Well, yeah, you already know it's a joke. So you're gonna be like, ah, that's funny. Then I'm gonna put some salt on it. Let's see how this turns out. Um, ginger. So there's like radishes, 
Wow, this smells so good. Parsley, spinach, cucumber, sweet potato, zucchini, and squash. Um, tomatoes, there's a tomatillo in there, there's turkey, um, celery, a couple stalks of celery, broccoli. I didn't put any avocados and I put a lime in there, cut it up. Uh, what else did I put in? Onion, sorry, there's, yeah, there's, there's uh, some white onion and some, uh, what are they called, not chives, those long tubular green onions. Else comes to mind, I'll shut up as I'm stirring. Ginger. That's a good one. Oh, garlic. I really like parsley. Cucumber's pretty awesome. It's, yeah. Tomatoes are right on top of that meat. Just the way I like it. Let's put some other stuff in, shall we? Balsamic vinegar. Now, I know it's two types of vinegar, but as long as you don't overload one, they're definitely two different types of food and flavor. Certainly, I'll put some olive oil in. Extra virgin olive oil, I was always told to. Ever since I was, was really introduced much to olive oil, I was told to get the extra virgin olive oil. If you can get it cheap, you've done the right thing. Dill. Let's not talk about dill anymore. Let's just put it into action. Mm, this is going to be good. Oregano. That's a good fucking buzz right there. Um, I want to hold off a pepper. I put some uh, chili powder in there. It's cumin, but I feel like before I even put much in, I'm going to let it moisturize. Food on top, kind of get some some action. Thinking about cooking. I really like it. Tastes fantastic. Tastes like a horseradish. I would like to get a horseradish at some point. You're bubbling. It's so nice once it starts to cook down and there's all this extra room in the pot. Cumin. I like cumin. It smells it stinks. My God, does it diffuse into vegetables? It tastes so good. Mmm, spicy like tacos. Paprika? I'm not a big fan. Paprika's it's all right. Rosemary or something maybe. Uh, I could put some. I'll put some black pepper in. What the fuck? Turn that heat down, eh? Don't listen to the meat. It'll cry for help if it's burning. You can hear it in the sound, the way it's cooking. And you can smell it too if you have access to it or have that acute of the nose. Good. I'm gonna 
mix it. Try to beat my cuss words out so I can appeal to the mass audience. Let people let their kids watch. Have let people encourage their kids to watch. Or would you be like, hey, your kid's old enough. Come watch this dude. He's fucking raw. I put fruit in that lime was a really good idea. I'm sure powder. Someone's talking about your natural, your natural reaction might not be to call them back or to get in touch with them. Just be like, oh, an adoring thing. I don't know. Mm. Ah, it's the smell of tomatoes cooking. It's glorious. Smell either cucumber or celery just then. Smell the vinegar. Cumin. Mmm. This pot's heating up. Look at that wooden spoon, to be honest. You know, the old wooden spoon. Potatoes are a challenge. They gotta cook for a long time. But the tomato juice should do the trick. You know, I've calculated correctly. This should simmer for about 45 minutes. Have oh, a nice flavor. Maybe season it more in a, in a while. Right now, just gonna. Uh, Plug into my laptop and I came across this. So I'm gonna try some of that. It smells amazing. Part of me wants to. Parsley's so good. Oh, cilantro. This really mixes well. Um, oh, some fresh cilantro would be really good. I just, I, I put it in until I smell it, and then I know I put in a little too much, and then I kind of rebound with the next thing. Oof, that smells good. Give you a look here. Juicy. Should have recorded me opening the the pot with my glasses on and the steam billowing up and me smelling it. Once you get a boil going, if you can sustain the heat in the water with like food and stuff that's boiling, um, you can turn the heat in, intake way down and keep the boil going. So that law kind of applies to a lot of different areas of science and mathematics and heat transfer, heat transfer particularly, long-term relationships, takings. Google superstar. Hey guys, I prepared it. This is a bowl of it. It's really tasty. The vinegar really does it justice. I love the bread. <clears throat> I'm going to 
add just a little bit of cumin and enjoy. <laughs>